for uh, in this folder. So I'll briefly talk about this training document, and then I will show you the project workflow. So first of all, let's take a look of the rules. The rules are very, very simple. So draw for newly built residential building. Second, delete removed residential building. So, so actually, you should just um, say building, right? Draw newly built, uh, newly built building, including those commercial big buildings, and um, delete removed building. And then you update the changed buildings only, and this only for the big ones, okay? Um, so if, uh, you know, there will be some examples that I will show you that you don't need to update them. And we only update for the real change. For example, if you build a new a, a garage for your door or for your house this year, and that is a change, right? That's an actual, uh, it's a big change. However, if you, you know, change, repair the roof of your house this year, and you will not see that that change that may you may not you know you may see a small minor change on that but it's not a big change so you can for your speed you can totally uh, ignore that and also lastly it's like no minor changes on all buildings all right so uh, there are some tips you know look only look for newly built building remove building and change building ignore other situations so you don't need to uh, check or edit so Lastly, make sure you go through the grids quickly and don't do any unnecessary work. So if you, on the otherwise actually, if you do the unnecessary work, your tasks may get reset, okay? So don't do any unnecessary work. Make sure you understand this uh, precisely. As for the benchmark, the, uh, the speed requirement is quite easy. Um, you know, it's the same as the uh, uh, checkers work. So it's, 13,333 features per 70 pixels. And for those changed buildings that need update, it will be paid at 600 features per 75 pixels. And for those newly built buildings that need creation, so except for the backyard small building, for that, we don't need to um, draw for that, all right? Don't waste your time on that. It will be paid at 150 pixels, uh, sorry, features per 75 pixels. So which is, 155 for creation, 600 for repair, and now 13,333 for checking. Then let's check some cases. The cases need to fix, right? This is a um, newly built building, right? It's a big one. So for this case, guys, you need to uh, draw for this. And then on the, on the one on the side, right? You can see that it's removed, so you delete it. Yeah, this is newly built as well, residential building. So you capture, you, you draw for them, and this will be paid as uh, 150. So when you draw the newly building, newly built buildings in the sh in the shifted area, so as you can see, right? So all those buildings they look shifted, and they can match on the you know, basically match on the footprint. So um, what you should do, you should draw the shape of the footprint, and then follow the shifting pattern in this area. So as you can see in this area. The, all the building is shifted to the right and upper direction, right? And in this case, so after we draw it, we move it to the same direction with other with neighbor buildings. So it's quite easy. Then for the delete, delete remove building, right? As you can see, this is a clearly ground, right? So we just delete them, very easy. So, so for those uh, remove building, delete it. Then we fix the changed big building. Remember, it's only big building. We ignore the change of any residential building. We just remove the re remove the you know those residential building, or we draw for the newly built residential building. But for the change one, we only focus on the big building. Something like this, right? This big building is used to be a small one, and in this case, we uh, used it as um, you know we, we capture it as um, uh, the whole big one. Same thing for this, right? So this one is totally off from this, what we can see here. So we need to fix it. And uh, so for example, for example, this one. So this building is, um, so, so what you need to understand guys, um, so this is what, th there were, you know, a multiple residential building in this area. And then in this year, this building were removed and they are built with this big commercial or industrial building. So you just need to delete all those residential buildings and capture those commercial and residential uh, industrial buildings. 
Okay, so it's quite easy. That's all the three cases that you, you need to fix. Then you need to understand what you don't need to fix and in case you waste your time there, okay? So first is you don't ignore all those small uh, backyard small buildings. It will not count for your input. Then you don't check res uh, backyard residential buildings, small buildings as well. So it's, it will not count. And then you don't need to update the residential building, even if they have small changes. So some sectors, it's not match mirror. So all this area has been shifted. And uh, when you try to match one by one, right? And you will see this one is off a little bit. So in this case, guys, you um, you know, it's not matched perfectly, but you don't need to ignore, you, don't, you can just ignore them, okay? And for this case, right, same thing. It's uh, not matched perfectly, but we can ignore them. And you don't need to cut or merge existing townhouse. Just keep the original joint, all right? But if you need to draw a new one, then you need to cut, all right? Keep the system, keep the original result as much as possible. And then, you know, don't fix the residential building, small building like this image below. So you don't need to fix the building. You, you only need to look for the big changes. And this is not changes, okay? This is you not, know, you can totally ignore those small arrows on this residential building. So for the speed improvement, if an area shows a pattern that buildings are shifted from image, right? This will happen a lot in, uh, in our task. So you need to look for the building position and shape. As long as it can match roughly, then you don't need to check for details. So focus on newly built building and remove buildings only. So for example, in this screenshot below, you don't need to check area building. Instead, focusing on the newly built building or removed ones and small buildings in the back of residential building, you can just ignore everything directly. All right, it's you know basically matched, right? Um, you no, know, these are uh, shifted, but they can basically match. So in this case, you you can um make you can ignore them. So it's actually a very easy and fast work. And I want you guys to uh, put, uh, enjoy working on this. So now let's take a look how I would work out this kind of project, all right? All right, so let's, um, this is a task I pulled from the filter site. Okay, so let's zoom in. As you have noticed, I will not zoom in like this. Or I'm not zooming a lot. I am zooming into one grid, one grid zooming level. And then as you can see that shifted, but I see this pattern, I see the footprint uh, match with the image roughly. Then I'm going through all of this, all right? I will ignore those small arrows like very quickly and I'm ignoring all those small buildings. So it's a very easy work. Like all of this, you know, we I have ignored them, shifted, right? Ignore them, all right? So as long as it can match, once you get experience on this, then you can be very fast. And for this one, this is the only one I spot from the first thing of my eye, right? This one is a removed one. And on the side of it, there's a newly built building here. So I will just uh, lock the, draw for it and make it shifted a little bit with the um, neighbor units together. Then I'll submit. Super easy and super fast. Then let's go to the second one. Zoom in into a one grid level, then that's enough. And it's all there, right? The buildings are, are there. And for those small buildings in the backyard, guys, we can ignore them, all right? For those small buildings in the backyard, we can ignore them. And let's continue. Right, it's all matched up. So I'm not checking one building by one building. I am roughly browsing through it, right? I'm roughly browsing through it. Now, when I'm moving this area, I can see, right? There are multiple newly created buildings in this area. So what I should do, I do the building creation for it, and this will be paid at 150 buildings per hour. All right, so I will pause a little bit on this part. 
right? And then after I done this building, what should I do next? I should follow the shift pattern along this neighbor building. So this neighbor building shifted to the upper and let me see. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, sometimes it's, uh, I think it's on the left side, right? It's moved to the left. It moved to the left of this building. So I'm moving this to the left of this part. That's how I bound it. All right, and for the rest of it, same thing. I draw it based on the roof part. Then I move it like this, shift it like this. So this applies to all this newly created, newly built building. I am not drawing it perfectly, but um, roughly, you know, it matched, then I will move it. Um, it's actually better. So that's how you should draw a newly created building, newly built building. And um, and uh, I will not, you know, um, do everything here. So I will submit this one and check it. If you get it, you can push it back, all right? So for this one, for this one, so this is how you should do it, okay? This is how you should do for the newly created building. And uh, then I will just assume I finish everything. And you follow the grid rules like what you like what you did in the building repair project. So you will capture this, capture this, and then um, everything touched on the right grid and the neighbor task will focus on the rest of this building. All right, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so I, the neighbor task will focus on this area. I will continue. So as you can see, I am browsing through the buildings very quickly. I am not checking the details for all the residential buildings as long as there is a result there. As long as there is a match to result here, then I will, you know, skip them. All right, for here, the village, right? Very quickly, you spot for those, no, like one more thing here, right? It's a ground. So in this case, you did it. All right. So very easy and very fast work. So that's it. That's all I need to do for this task, right? You capture a few residential building, newly built residential building. You delete one or two, remove building, and then I'll submit this one. I'm down for this. Very easy, but very uh, quick work. Then let's go to the next one. So for this one and zoom in, same thing, right? One great zooming level, that would be enough. And this is a resident, uh, this is an industrial big buildings. So we, we will look for if there's any change there, right? Okay, now we got one that is, you know, that is uh, newly built, right? So in this case, Let's capture it and uh, we can check the wall for it because from this area, I don't, we don't see any shift pattern there, right? We don't see any shift pattern there. So we can capture this building normally and uh, drag the wall for it, all right? And then continue, nothing there, nothing there. And there's um, two more newly built building here. thing right i capture it normally i drop the wall for it that's uh, normal as usual that's, that's what we did in the building repair project so this newly built building they will be paid at 150 buildings per hour so it's quite good rate and um it's, it's really easy work let's continue another industrial commercial area all the buildings are, are there and they are matched pretty well nicely. And uh, yeah, that's basically, I don't see changes there, right? So in this case, everything's there. So I'm done this task super fast. You guys think? All right, let's continue. And right, for the residential building, let's check it very fast, very quickly. We don't check the details. Now I see one newly built building, right? So in this case, what should we do? 
we capture it, and then we follow the shift pattern with the neighbor building. So it's kind of like a little bit down there. So I move it a little bit, and that continues zoom out into this level. Very quick checking, right? And um, I will slow down a little bit. Um, I know some of you, you know, are, you are new to this uh, project, and I will slow down, you know, intentionally for you, so you guys can catch up and see what I am checking there. Okay, so those buildings, right, they are matched pretty well, and I don't see the newly built or removed building for the residential. So it's all pretty good there. Don't check the details. So you can slow down. I'm slowing down so you guys can follow and catch up what, what I am working on with all those buildings, right? So it's matched very well. You don't need to check details. Just check if there's a newly built, if there's a removed one, then you capture it or you delete it, right? It's all nicely built there and uh, that's it. That's it. I'm down for this task, right? I only uh, draw for one newly built building and the rest of it is there. It's very nice. Nothing need to be on, um, no, not, not, <clears throat> no details need to be checked and it's quite, quite easy. All right, same thing. Right, one grade to me level. I'm slowing down so you guys can follow. So all those residential buildings, they are matched very well. They match nicely and easy. Don't check the details, ignore the shift. We are looking for the real change. I'm talking about, uh, I will explain about this, um, you know, the real, the, the basic logic, log, log, logistic behind this project. So what you see on this red labels, this is the buildings that uh, we done from the last year. All right, this is the building from 2022. And the image you see here, the image we see here is 2023. All right, so what we're doing, you guys may understand now. So this project is called building update. So we are updating the building, all right? So you by you know understanding the uh, logic of this project you will understand better what you need to do right we are updating the building so it's the building like this right this is shifted and all tweaked a little bit it's not changed right we, it's not required to be updated because this could be an arrow this could be some like you know um arrow when the label was drawing it and uh, we are not updating it the real update it's for the building that is removed or that building is newly built or some big building that has, you know, renovated or, um, you know, update or updated, right? Or a part of building that is removed and then rebuilt another new building. And that's what it's what we're, that is what we are looking for. All right, so zooming one grade, you know, like this, right? It's, uh, it's not changed. This is like arrow, it's not changed, it's not updating. So we ignore those kind of stuff, all right? So we just check if there's a real change in this test, right? So most of this, they are matched very well, you know, right? And uh, we are seeing very nice uh, results on this Paul? area. Yes. Paul, excuse me. Guys, for those who are restreaming, can you please put your mic on mute? People are having a very bad echo. They cannot understand what Paul is trying to say. So if you are restreaming the session, please put your mic on mute. Sorry, Paul. Thank you. All right. All right, I'll continue. So everything, right? So we are seeing those um, residential buildings, those big buildings, they have no chance. This is only shifted because this label is from 2022, and this image is from 2023. It, it's, it's very, you know, um, it's, it's possible that it's um, shifted, right? They cannot be matched perfectly in some cases. So in this case, guys, you don't need to, uh, ignore the, you don't need to focus on those shifted building. Ignore them, all right? As long as it can be matched roughly, then it's good. And uh, all the residential building, you know, see, you see, they are there. Right, they are there, so which means there is no removed, no newly built, and no changed for the big building. 
and uh, continue, as you can see, it's really nice. It's really easy, right? And then this task is also done. So let's submit that. <clears throat> so guys, if you have any question, feel free to ask now. Um, you can leave your question on the chat box so I can uh, see your question. All right, so let's continue. Zoom in into one grid and uh, all, you see? So this is, uh, you know, MP3 image and with 2022 labels. And we are seeing those labels matched pretty good on the 2023 image. And that is, this is what we are looking for, right? And we don't see any change here. All right, so when it comes to this area, so in this industrial area, as you can see, there is a newly built building, right? There's a newly built, you know, big building here. There's a new, very big building here. So in this case, in this case, I am going to draw for this, right? This is, uh, let me see, this is a building. Yeah, so in this case, I'm going to draw for this building here. So I'm going to draw from here. So this will happen in the industrial area, in the commercial area pretty often. And this is uh, what we should look for and uh, get our creation part uh, going, all right? So something like this. I will remove this part first so it won't get out in my way. I'll remove the part first. All right, then I will use the um, air tool to continue. Hi, Paul. Yes. The one that you, you are drawing now is, uh, the, it looks like the pipes, pipes from the uh, refilling, refilling area. Like, it, 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 it's pipes or uh, it is uh, uh, under the roof? Um, it's an infrastructure. Which I don't know if it's a pipe. Pipe has a smaller size, but this one is too big to be a pipe. Um, so in this case, I will, pre I, will, I will prefer to capture it. Right, this is more like um, I think this could be some, you know, transportation tunnel, something like that, and uh, this is considered as a building. Okay, so ignore those overlap because we are going to shift this building after we done it. Okay, so this case, like here, here is more like a pipe, and I will only capture it to here. Where you go? Bridge. <laughs> Are you getting the idea? Like, um, let's say if I re I finish repair for this part, okay? I finish this repair for this part, and then I will need to move this building. I will need to move this building. So I will need to move a little bit and avoid overlap with the neighbor building because I need to move with the neighbor together, right? At what we see from the neighbor and then we need to follow it, okay? Once my... I join my, my editing just down for some reason and I will. So, okay, I found a bug, I will repair it. So I'm using the rectangle repair tool. I change it. So weird. See, it's done. Weird.
Good. Okay. So I found the I found the problem of the system of the software, and I will uh, check that later. So I just assume I finish this part, and then you need to move it, right? I'm moving this um, to up, up and right. So uh, it follows the move the shift pattern up and left. Actually, I need to move it up and left to sh follow the shift pattern with the neighbor, um, with the neighbor buildings together. Uh, let's continue. All right, so you know you can ignore those messy parts and you capture it along with this together. All right, so I will keep this task and then I will take a look later for the issue. So last task before um, we leave, and if you have any question, please let me know. So again, zoom in into one grid level and the check. You know, the most of the residential building they are matched very nicely. Okay, and we don't see any newly built or removed building, but keep your eyes on it. All right. So for those matched, ignore those. All right. As if you see error like this in the power building list, ignore it. Ignore it because we don't ask for the change of the residential building. I right? ignore that. And if we ignore all those small backyard buildings, let's continue. So nicely being captured, ignore those shifted. And then I'm done this task. I'm basically done. All right, so that's it. That's everything I'm doing for this task. So what do you guys think of this project? And uh, let me know if you have any questions so far. And uh, that is all I am having for this uh, work demo. It's quite easy project, and I believe everyone can master it. Yeah, thank you, Keith. Jen, um, Keith, but the XC should work. XC should work, but it's a system issue. Thanks for it. Yeah, so for the cover and by trees, um, if, if ignore or just ignore, right? Ignore those. So newly built multi-layer building, yes, you need to group it. For every newly built building, except for the shift rule, you can you need to follow with all the uh, regular uh, repair project. Follow the same rule for the regular uh, repair project. All right, multi layer for the big building. Yes, yes, that's um, that's what um, that's what we need to do. And uh, any more questions, guys? So for this project, we are having uh, a great refill for now, but this is a very small refill actually. This is a very small refill, and uh, after this one. We are having another, as you can see, we're having another one, two, three, four, five, five and six. This is also another building update. So we have six more tabs waiting to be open. So we need everyone to engage together and the double time, this will be a bonus one. All right, everyone, and I will announce the details later today. After this month, after this month, we will be focused on the building update for the rest of this month, actually. And after this month, we will having huge building repair project coming along with the 3D matching as well. So um, if you are a newbie and you haven't taken any 3D matching project before, um, I'll wait for my signal to take it, okay? Wait for my signals to take it. Meanwhile, focus on the building update, um, polish your skills, improve your speed, and uh, understand what you need to fix and uh, what you don't. All right, there'll be no error or problem even if it crossed the yellow line. Uh, what do you mean? Like the yellow line, which one are you talking about? This boundary? This is a grid boundary, right? This is what we do. And those yellow line, 
and you if you delete it we will see this mask on it okay so uh if you did some unnecessary change uh the checker or the reviewer they will see it like this right they will see okay so this reviewer has added it this building wrong and they will see it but this is the mask of the building of the original building the benchmark of uh, the building repair task will start on april 1st on april most likely April 1st. On residential building area, we ignore reconstructed houses. While on industrial area, we added reconstructed buildings. You are right, Roger. That's good. That's um that's correct understanding. Any more questions, guys? Any more questions? If not. Uh, make sure you fill in the attendance sheet and the mark will load the attendance sheet to uh, 1660. And later today, we will open the following tabs uh, once the tasks are ready. All right. And uh, meanwhile, um, guys, we have a few more tasks left over in the quick nature repair. Remember the uh, filter task for now, the benchmark is 30 seconds. It's 30 seconds. So I would encourage you to um, add in and pass and uh, finish this tab as soon as possible. All right, <clears throat> so, so 3D on common narrow guidelines. Yes, let me see. All right, uh, someone wants me to discuss about common narrows. Let me see. All right, give me a sec. All right, so um, yeah, you see, for big building, only added real change, significant change. Now, always try to repair first, okay? Use X and Y if um, you can be not be repaired. So, for example, this one, some, somebody, you know, they will delete the original building and rejoin. This is not unnecessary. All right, and this, if you did this rejoin, meaning that's more, and change the correct footprint um, location, the task will be reset and all your work will be um fit, will be wasted like this, right? This um is totally unnecessary. So all those three jobs are um, all unnecessary and then you will lose the work if um it's being reset. It, okay, so don't waste your time to redraw those stuff. So like those miss newly built, right? Make sure you don't miss those. And yeah, this is also miss missed building. Uh, remove building, make sure you delete them. Something more examples, okay? Well, you have pretty, yeah, this is a big change. Uh, this is a real change on a big building and you need to uh, fix it, all right? And unnecessary, you know, small, small buildings, ignore all of them, make your walk fast. It will slow you down. And moreover, those uh, change on the residential building, you don't need to check for it, okay? As long as there is a residential building on the image and there is a label on it, no matter it matches or not, ignore that, okay? And ignore that. You don't need to delete anything, remove anything that is under the tree. And this one, especially for the commercial building, um, this is on the footprint location. So you will not see on the uh, foot roof. So you don't need to add it, add it, okay? And uh, don't, Oh, sorry, don't draw 3D, don't draw exact wall. Yeah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I was wrong, okay, guys, I was wrong. I, I kind of forgot the rules. Yeah, you, you don't need to draw 3D. You just um, draw up the footprint location and shift it. My bad, my bad. Um, you shouldn't draw the, uh, draw, draw the wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry for that. And uh, yeah, some of these uh, small changes on the net big building, make, guys, make sure you don't need to do that. Okay, so make sure you go through this, make sure you don't waste your time on it. And I was doing something wrong, if um, it's, it's been uh, almost, a, it's been a year since the last time I did it. So yeah, make sure you go through this uh, common error document and uh, all the leaders, make sure your members, your team members you know, follow it and it, it's going to um, be uh, helpful, helpful for them to improve the speed and uh, focus their time on the necessary uh, entity, all right.
All right, so that will be all from me for now. If there's no more question, um, I'm going to dismiss the meeting. All right, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching it, and let's get it going. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Those who attended the meeting, guys, make sure to fill up the attendance form, please. Have a good day. Okay, sir. Come on. Sir, pa send ulit ng link na tawunan na. Yung tawo.